Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Uh, today's video is talking about dome lights. One of the issues that I have in my hiker is the only light I really have is the Max Fan ring light. It's extremely bright. There's nothing wrong with it. It works great for moving around the trailer, getting stuff in and out. But when you're sleeping at night, we rearrange our heads facing our heads near the galley. We were looking for some kind of dome light that could be just above our heads. So as you can see here, I got three different options. The first one I want to talk about is the Wagon Tech dome light. This thing's pretty amazing. It's got 220 lumens uh, on high. It's got 110 on low. It's got a six hour runtime, 14 hour runtime because of that. It has magnets here so you can use it inside or outside the trailer. It's got hooks so you can hook it and hang it like that. Um, it's got a 3000 milliamp battery so you can plug in your phone, charge it if you needed it in an emergency. Got a battery status indicator here. So you've got 25, 50, 75, and 100 there. The magnet's huge. You saw it stuck to my Coleman stove here. That works great. So you could mount a little plate on the inside roof of your hiker. And the biggest thing is they make it two models. One USB, so you can unwrap this cord, plug it in and charge it right back up. Or you can buy the one that just comes apart and there's a set of batteries that you install. So this is definitely one option. I really like this option. I used it like crazy on a storm uh, last week and it was incredible. Um, what we did is we opened up our galley doors to our pass through and we set this thing right in there and it was plenty of light. It bounces up amongst the ceiling, plenty of light behind us because we sleep with our head by the galley. It was perfect, absolutely loved it. Um, so you've got high there, you've got low. It's gonna kind of pulse in the camera, so it's not pulsing in real life, guys. It's just the camera um, because it's dimming that half. And then you've got SOS mode. I don't know if I'd ever use that, but it's there if you need it. So that's the first option. So the second option I have for you is um, what we call a color changing LED puck light seen several other hiker owners that have these kind of puck lights. Um, this isn't anything like I've seen with the other brands, but uh, it's very, very similar. So what we got here is a color changing puck light. So this is basically just a tap light. Uh, you tap it, you got white, 55 lumens. It goes red, green, blue, and off. One thing I don't care for is having to cycle through um, but it's not a huge deal. You also have this little indicator here. If you aim this the direction of the remote, which can work 15 feet away, you can turn it on and off this way. So you can, your remote has all these different options. You can turn it on and off. You've got 50%. You've got dimming it with a plus and minus. You've got all the different color options. You can dim it. You've got a fade. If you hit the fade, it goes through all the colors and just kind of cycles through all the different options. And then if you find a color you like, you hit set and boom, you can jump back to that color anytime you want if there's some color you like. And it also has a 30 minute and a 60 minute timer, which is pretty dumb handy. The kit comes with two of these remotes, which is really nice. You can put one on each side of the trailer, one in the galley, whatever. And then you have the optional um, lights. You have six of these. The nice thing about these is they come, let's turn this off, just AA batteries and two holes if you want a permanent mount. And most trailer owners I think will go for the 3M tape mount. And look inside here. They have 3M tape and they have the screws included. The only thing they don't include with these puck lights is the batteries. What light doesn't come with batteries anymore? Kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, you have to supply your own batteries. The thing I like about this design from some of the other ones I've seen, they're flush. They're flat. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Uh, I really like that. Some of them are really bubbled out. Um, it's a newer, sleeker design. It's their newest one from this company called Brilliant Evolution. And uh, really like them. 55 lumens, really bright, definitely a, another option. 
So the third option is something I saw from another teardrop manufacturer. If you just need a little bit of light and you want a reading light, you just need something in there. A lot of the hiker trailers come with a USB configuration like this. So you've got a USB double plug, you usually got a 12 volt and you got a USB double plug. Why not just take a USB light and plug it in? Genius. So these are LED uh, reading lights for laptops. That's all they are. They make a ton of them on Amazon. This is only a $10 option, guys. There's no tactical feedback to this switch, but it's touch sensitive. Three dimmable modes. I think it runs around 20 lumens, 25 lumens on high. So it's not a whole lot of light, but it might be just enough for what you're looking for. The nice thing about this is you plug it into your USB socket and I'll put some uh, video of this thing out there and you can have it shine straight down on your reading area. Um, if someone else is in the trailer with you and you don't want to disturb their eyes, you could aim it up, you could aim it just towards you. It's infinite, the, the amount of different things you could do. So here is your third option, is a USB computer light. This one got really high reviews on Amazon. Like I said, this is like a $10 option. And I'll put all the links down below. And if you're feeling generous, you can go through my affiliate links, I would really appreciate it. This is 1895 and I wanna say that was around 25 for the six lights and two remotes, which I thought was a bargain. So let's go out to the trailer. Let's try all these options and see what they look like inside the camper. Okay guys, finally got dark outside and just stuck a one of the puck lights up next to the wagon dome light. And I've just got that stuck with, um, there's a metal plate up there, so the magnets just stick. The nice thing is, move it inside, outside. You can see, definitely sticks down quite a bit, but it's not horrible. So we'll have those two in here. And then in the front, I don't have a USB in the back where my head would be, but I've got the USB light right here in front by my TV mount. So we'll show each light option one at a time. You can get an idea of the brightness. It's not the same as seeing it in person, but maybe it'll give you an idea. So this right here is the LED puck at 100%. That's the LED puck at 50%. You can do red, blue, or green. Multicolor changing or your preset which is kind of an aqua color. So So as you can see, here's the USB light. You can aim it in any direction. There's a little button here. And go low. You kind of see a little bit of light on low. Medium. A lot more light. And high. Which gives you plenty of light. Um, step back here. You can see everything inside. Trailer, no problem. And originally when I seen this idea online, um, they had a little bit shorter USB sticks, but the problem was you had to unplug them to get them to turn off, or you had to have a switch for your USB. Without having a switch USB, the best option, in my opinion, is um, just to have one of these lights with a button on it. And there's several different manufacturers that have the button, but this one's very responsive, I like it. And, uh, seems to be doing the job really well but illuminates the whole area this is our uh, ipad stand so yeah that's a nice option right there so the nice thing about the usb lights is they'll work off any kind of power pack so as you can see here just for example i took the light plugged it into a battery power pack 
I've got a 26,000 milliamp RAV power pack. I could use this on a picnic table to give myself extra light. Um, got it just plugged into there and fished through the galley doors. So whether you want to have the galley doors shut, which I can do like that. Oops. And there's a light sticking out through the door. And this gives me plenty of light. I can go one side, the other side, angle it for someone reading, um, leave the galley doors open, whichever I want. And then anytime I want to turn it off, go to bed, just give that top a tap. And back out here. So let's take a look at the dome light by Wagon Tech. So this is the 55 lumens. Let me make sure this is on high. Yep, so there's high. Now, difference between 55 lumens and 220. I'll turn this off. <laughs> if you want a lot of light, that's the that's the one to go with. Um, like I said, the only drawback I see is you might as well turn on this ring light at that point. It's going to be just about as bright with this light on. So, and I'm kind of looking for something as a more of a night light, soft light for reading, getting ready at night. So that to me is way too bright inside. So I can dim it down. No, oh, it's 110 lumens. That's a little better. Not bad at all. Got plenty of light to see everything inside. So three great options. Just depends on your needs. So as you can see, I got plenty of spill light. And I've got that Wagon Tech dome light just with a metal plate in the corner here. Can use that for storage if I needed to. Another option, it gives plenty of light inside. So, hope you guys found this video educational, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Happy camping.